Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you the basics of using video text inside of Unity. And all I've got in my scene is I've got a cube which I made, renamed it Big Screen. I've got a first person controller, um, tagged player, as you can see there, and I've just got two point lights and then my room that I created. Um, so initially, when you wanted to use video textures, it only works in Unity Pro and not in Unity 3. So you have to make sure you get that. You can get the trial if you need it. Now the thing about this, it always plagues me when I try and import videos into Unity, is the case that sometimes codecs that you use you might render out your footage and stuff and things like that, it may not work. Now I think I've realised myself that I've got a video here which is just my introduction to my videos and all that is was an MP4 but it was rendered in the H.264 um, codec format so to compress it a little bit more but if you actually um, render it out and just or convert it with another converting program and convert it straight to an mp4 and import it into unity it'll be fine so it's just a case of some things to look out for but realistically what I'm going to show you the basics today is that with the, monitor, with the screen here you need to do a few things you need to actually apply your video to that screen so you can drag it on and you see it just applies itself like a normal texture you need to add your audio by just dragging that onto the same one and it'll add an audio source to this. And that's pretty much the basics for starting out. If we play that, nothing will happen, so we need to write a little script to make it do something. So we want to create a new JavaScript and call it uh, Play Movie. Anything you want, but just for that. And then we want to open Mono Develop. So once Mono develops open, we can delete the update function because we don't really need it for now. And what we want to do is we want to create a variable called move text. It can be anything you want, but for the sake of this, we'll keep it and we want to set it as an actual movie texture type so we can actually reference the video. And inside the actual start function, we need to write renderer.material dot main texture equals our variable that we created which is called move text and then we want move text dot play and it calls it and it plays so if we save that out and we drag this onto our big screen TV whatever we want to call it see and it'll ask us to where our movie texture is and all we need to do is drag whatever your video is called, so intro not one and then if we hit play you can see it just plays in the background now there's other things you can do with with this and things like that but we're only really going to cover the sheer basics today but what you can do is you can also add a another variable called loop and set that as a, a boolean and then when fun um, in the function start we can say move text dot loop equals true so when move texture plays then it'll loop throughout your play so if you wanted to have something playing always in the background and when you play your game see it starts off and there's also a couple of other things that we can use I won't cover it in this video but I'll cover it in another one when we're when I'm going to talk about um, activating things with colliders but you can also use um, things like uh, move text dot pause so what that does is that pauses your movie you can do move text dot stop which takes your movie and it stops it and restarts it from the beginning but for the basis of this we'll just keep it like this and we'll save that out and I'll go over in another tutorial of how to do the other bits but that's pretty much it for working with video text it's pretty easy pretty simple as long as you get your movie file in so if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks very much cheers